Hello everyone, welcome to Win Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss one more heterocycle compound which is known as azepine. So azepines are known are seven membered heterocyclic compounds which are containing nitrogen as a heteroatom. Here we have, I have written three azepines that is 1H azepine, 2H azepine, 3H azepine and 4H azepines. These are well known azepines. So what is 1H azepine? 1H azepine where hydrogen is at the on the nitrogen. 3H azepine where the hydrogens are present at the third carbon. Third carbon and 4H azepine where the hydrogen is present on the fourth carbon. Now we need to discuss the synthesis and reactions of azepines. Now how to synthesize the azepine? First one is from benzene and ethoxy carbonyl nitrile. Now what happens in this case? Now this is a benzene ring and this is the ethoxy carbonyl nitrine. Now what will happen? A nitrine insertion reaction takes place. Nitrine, nitrine is an intermediate. So what will happen? A nitrine insertion reaction takes place at this position. So what we get is, we get is this structure. What we get is this structure. A nitrine is inserted, we, we get a this structure. And next what happens is just the bond shifting takes place. Now this is a ring opening reactions you can say in, in uh, electrocyclic ring opening reaction you can say. Now this bond moves here, this bond moves here, this bond moves here. So what will happen? We get a uh, this type of structure that is almost we have got the azepine structure. Now just I need to replace this base and heat. When you treat with base, what will happen? The COO C2H5 will get converted to COOH. When you heat it, uh, it will go as a CO2. And what will be left out here? H, just H. So this compound is known as 1H azepine. Now always remember, whenever we, we get a 1H azepine, it will try to convert itself into 3H azepine because these two are isomers and 3H azepine is the most stable form of the Azepine. Hence, azepines can be seen in 3H azepine form only. So, this is the one synthesis. Now, let's discuss the second synthesis that is from nitrobenzene. Now, when what happens when nitrobenzene is treated with tributyl phosphine, okay, a aryl nitrine is formed. This NO2, this group is converted to the nitrine in presence of this reagent. So, when this aryl nitrile, nitrile further reacted with ROH, that is alcohol, what will what we get is 2 alkoxy 3 azepine okay same and nitrine is formed again the ring insertion now here the bond forms again seven membered ring is formed but now at the second position what is substituted alkoxy group is substituted so this is called as this is also second synthesis now let's discuss the third synthesis now what we take i take a phenyl azide now here what is happening, how the nitrine is generated. Now this N2, when we heat it, this N2 will be removed. So when N2 is removed, what will be left out? A nitrine will be left out. So when nitrine is left out, again, there is a formation of bond here. So what will happen? This is nitrine. Now when I treat with diethyl amine, what, we, what I get is, a second position is substituted by NC2H5 ties and I get the 1H azepine. Now it, I have got the 1H azepine. You know 1H, is, 1H azepine is the unstable form. So what will happen? It will rearrange to form a 3H azepine. This is the third synthesis of azepines. Now let's discuss. Now only three reactions are enough. Now let's discuss reactions of azepines. Now, one of the reaction is aromatization. Now, we uh, when we study the aromatic character of uh, azepines, aromatic uh, azepines are known as non-aromatic compounds because they are non-planar structures and they have 8 pi electrons. To be aromatic in nature, if any molecule wants to be an aromatic in nature, it should have 4n plus 2 pi electrons. But here they have 4n electrons. Okay. So, how to make this molecule as aromatic compound. So obviously seven member it is quite difficult. So let's make it six membered ring. We will get it as a 
aromatic compound so now this is a compound when i heat it what will happen is the rearrangement takes place and we i get such a such an intermediate which rearranges to form this molecule now if you, now if you see this molecule now it is a urethane molecule now this is known as a urethane molecule which is formed via this is known as aziridino benzene this is known as aziridino benzene now whatever urethane has formed it is aromatic in nature so azepines will undergo aromatic reactions now next is pericyclic reactions this azepines also show the various pericyclic reactions what do you mean by pericyclic reactions a ring closure and ring opening reaction now if you see here this is a double bond this is a double bond this double bond shifts here and they make a four double bonds okay sorry this bond shifts here this bond shifts here and we get a four membered ring now what is left out other than this is the molecule now see here this is one this is two this is three okay this is four now so it is one this is second this is three and this is four now if you see here this is one dash two dash three dash four four dash you can say so it is one dash two dash three dash four dash so this structure is been formed it is a ring closure reaction here okay then everything remains same as it is now a uh, one more last reaction is reduction reaction what happens when azepine undergo reduction when azepines okay this is a 3h azepine 2 ohm because why it is 2 ohm because at the second position we have a keto group so when 3h azepine 2 ohm reacts with h2 in pt we get a caprolactam this caprolactam is used is medicinally used uh, compound okay so on reduction all the double bonds get reduced and we get a caprolactam so these are the synthesis and reactions of the azepine